Hi, yeah, folks. This is Ollie Rush Jr. again. Oh, yes, I'm a junior. Ollie Rush. And I'm ready to talk to you again. As long as this virus is rearing its ugly head, I'm going to do the best that I can to console you, to help you to control yourself and things around you. I want to talk to you again about thinking your way to self-control. Thinking your way to self-control. Is there any one thing that causes a person to mentally lose control of self? Is it possible that you could think of or even name a few when you name them, keep in mind that there are underlying causes for any breakdown that we have, whether it's mental or physical. I think a lot of the reason we are becoming mentally inept is because of this virus, coronavirus, going around. Problems, whether they're mental or physical, have a way of penetrating our psyche, regardless. Let's look deep into the effects and effects. If we are affected, how have we decided and are equipped to deal with what now has become somewhat of a serious problem? If we look at a problem from all sides, let's say there are four sides to every problem. A front, a back, a left side, and a right side. This may compound the solution, but we must examine each side of the problem to determine a method of attack that effectively solves the problem. But before we can do this, we must do a complete examination of self and determine where our wall of self-defense has a weak link. Where do I really stand? What is wrong with me that I have lost touch with reality? We should look at ourselves objectively and not reject what the problem really is by saying to ourselves, oh, that's not me. Look, anything can happen to you and anything can become you. It's all in the process of your way of thinking. It's the process of thought that makes us who we are and allows us to do things that we do before any act is carried out. We think about it before we make a final decision. For a brief moment, an inner thought enters your mind and says in a wee small voice, don't forget control. Don't let anyone control your actions. But you, don't let anyone control your actions, but you. Blame no one for selfish mistakes, but yourself. That is where the fault lies, with you. But don't beat yourself to death about it. Your resolve should be a strong will to move past and move on with life. The world doesn't stand still, so why should you? Until we move out of this earthly cavern, we'll be fighting a thing called human. Guess what? They always have and always will make mistakes. Look up and keep looking up. Heaven is still waiting. We do have the ability to control what we allow into our minds. Your mind can be hidden from reality or it can be revealed. It is a tunnel of desires, good or bad. You choose if you will be controlled by the good or by the bad. There is strength inside each of us. We must become familiar with this strength. It's not locked up in any man, but is there for him to use and to guide him into all truth if he so desires. This strength is found in the Spirit of God. When we lay our burdens upon him, those burdens become light. 
Our minds are at ease. The things we thought we could, couldn't could deal with become easy. Look at the effects of this virus in this manner. Your mind can take only so much. Stop carrying Stop carrying things around in your mind. They will make you weak mentally because while you try to solve the problem, it is solved already and waiting just for you to approach the Spirit of God and ask for the answer. Remember, you have not because you ask not. Keep your mind and let go of the problem. There are some problems better left to God. So you let go and let God. Clean house mentally and spiritually. As you do this, you uncover a new you. You realize that for every problem that will trouble you, there's a way that won't allow these troubles to control you. It will try and drag you down, but there's a way in which you stand. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Bless you. I'm sorry for the interruption. But I have a dog that just doesn't understand. But I thank you for listening, and I hope it wasn't too much of an interruption. Bless you, and until next time.